Hello, I'm Pastor David Bonney, and I'm very delighted to be with Diane Swart today in her home. Diane is the historian for Fairfax United Methodist Church, and as we celebrate Heritage Sunday, I thought it'd be great to have some conversation with Diane. Diane, one question I get a lot is, when was the founding of Fairfax Church? It was before the Civil War, we know that much. We have a deed dated 1854, but I believe it was closer to 1840s. And doing genealogy for going to another church, I discovered that a Methodist church took 10 to 14 years to actually have a building. Hmm. They start with three or to five families. They would meet in homes, and then it would take a while to gather the funds and the property to build a church. So I want to think it's more like about 1840 because we have things where uh, Francis Asbury claimed to have preached at Fairfax, but I don't believe it was the town of Fairfax because there wasn't anybody there then. Right. I believe when he was here, it was probably Falls Church where he preached. Okay. So that's the best I can come up with. Well, that's remarkable. Uh, from the 1840s, uh, Fairfax Church has survived through the Civil War, two world wars, uh, economic upheaval, social upheaval, now two pandemics. Right. From your perspective as a historian, what are the strengths of our church that have enabled us to keep going strong over these many, many years? Well, the comment I kept hearing from people who have belonged to the former building uh, was that everybody knew everybody. Everybody knew what was going on in their families. They knew where there was trouble and they showed up to help. They watched each other's backs and they supported each other through good times and bad times. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the main strength. Uh, and they wanted their children to know all this as well. That's remarkable that that strong sense of community uh, has really held our church together through uh, many chapters in history. Now, you mentioned children. Uh, one of our uh, emphasis for 2022 is to revitalize our children's ministry. Mm -hmm. How big a part has children and families played in our history over the years? Well, there's a story of my husband as a three or four year old running up and down the church aisle while the sermon was going on. <laughs> but the so children have always been a strong part from the very beginning. They were slower getting a youth group formed, but they did finally do that after the Civil War. Uh, one of the pastors, there was a World's Fair going on, and he, took, he borrowed a, a truck, a huge truck, and he took a number of the older boys from the scout camp and they camped along the way and went to the World's Fair. And those boys came back with their eyes wide open to all of the science business that could be coming their way. All the things, they had all kinds of ideas of what, they, because most of these people were farmers and they were just in this small little village. It wasn't even, it was a town, it was not a city. Well, what a remarkable history of this church staying together, staying in friendship, staying in community, and supporting children and youth. Diane, thank you so much for the conversations and how much you've taught me about uh, the wonderful history of Fairfax United Methodist Church. You're more than welcome.